First, determine required spool length by reviewing applicable piping drawings. For this particular demonstration, we will go through the procedures of installing a flange onto the end of a pipe using the Maxar Flex installation procedures. For proper cut lengths, you must add 1 and 1 half inch per flange to your spool length to allow for flaring. Once you have cut the pipe to its proper length, install the skiving mandrel into the end of the pipe. Next, with a 3 quarter inch drill in the skiving assembly, begin skiving until the skiver bottoms out against the pipe. Remove the skiving mandrel. Next, with the grinder, remove the excess sock material from the Maxar tube. With 16 grit sandpaper, sand the inside of the flange to be mounted. Dry fit the flange to the pipe. Next, apply the epoxy glue to the end of the pipe and also to the flange. Mount the flange. Make sure that the flange is square to the pipe. Clean off the excess glue from the Maxar and allow the flanged epoxy to become tacky. Next, install the internal heating collar for post curing. Using the proper trim collar, mark a line on the end of the Maxar tube and grind back to this line. Next, install the guide sleeves into the back of the flange and install the flaring assembly. Make sure the bull nose face of the cone is facing forward. Remove the flaring cone, place it into the preheated oven, and bring it to its proper flaring temperature. Once the flaring cone has come to its proper temperature, reinstall the flaring cone with the bull nose face of the flaring cone facing forward. Screw the flaring cone forward until it bottoms out against the face of the flange and then allow it to cool. Once the flaring cone has cooled, remove the flaring cone Place it back into the preheated oven and bring it back to its proper flaring temperature. This time, reinstall the flaring cone with the flat side of the flaring cone facing forward. Screw it forward until it bottoms out. Once cooled, remove the flaring tool assembly. Inspect the flange for any imperfections.